Hello and welcome to this wonderful course of uh, computer network and uh, today we are going to discuss about how uh, communication is done among networking devices and how uh, we can transfer the data from one machine uh, or from one node to the other one but before going into the detail of our uh, current topic uh, let me just give you a brief idea about uh, what we have done in the last lecture we started discussing about computer network and uh, we discussed about uh, internet's nuts and bolts and we discussed internet and protocol in the last lecture so uh, let me just uh, uh, give you a brief idea about internet once again internet is nothing but it's a network of networks and uh, from the service point of view internet is an infrastructure which provide uh, which provides services to various applications which we use these days and uh, protocol protocol is nothing but set of rules uh, which governs communication and if uh, in context of a computer network protocol is nothing but it decides the message format and order of uh, the messages and finally uh, action taken on the message while uh, transmitting and receipt of the message so these are the two important things which we must know what is internet uh, and protocol uh, if we are going through this particular course and we also discussed about computer network that it is broadly classified into two parts the first part is your uh, network edge and the second part is network core in network edge you have all end devices like computers cell phones and in network core uh, we have uh, communicating devices like uh, routers and switches which forms a network which is uh, an infrastructure laid down by our network engineers so let's uh, focus on our current topic which is that is uh, communication how communication is done so uh, before uh, uh, this particular topic let me just give you an analogy how humans communicate if two persons want to communicate with each other they need to have a common language common understandable language if a guy from india wants to communicate with a guy from france indian guy knows hindi france guy knows french if they are not agreed for a common language they won't be able to communicate so they need to have a common language most of the time it's english and if uh, they both are agree and they both understand english then only they are able to communicate with each other the same case goes with when we talk about uh, computers or end devices uh, from different hardware and uh, software platforms so uh, how they are going to communicate with each other when they are from a different different uh, hardware and software platforms so in that case they all have to have a common platform on which they are going to communicate with each other so that common platform name is osi model which stands for open systems interconnection and this model is given by iso which stands for international uh, international standardization organization so this particular organization gives this particular uh, common platform uh, in the form of a layered architecture and this this particular platform is got seven layers so we will understand uh, that platform and we will uh, learn how uh, that particular platform helps in data communication but before that let's understand what all uh, things we have for uh, in, in data communication like as you can see on the slide that we have post uh, these are the part of uh, network edge routers uh, links of various media 
these are the part of your network core then applications we have a lot of applications which we use these days so that application uh, runs uh, at the uh, edge or in the end systems so this is the part of network edge then we have protocols that means set of rules um, which are going to help us in data communication then we have hardware and software so don't you think it's it's a very complex thing uh, for communication we have different devices we have uh, different type uh, types of links uh, available so uh, how we are going to deal with this complex uh, uh, situation so for dealing with the complex situations we have a layered architecture osi model first of all uh, let's see how uh, layered architecture uh, helps in dealing with the complex situations which we have. So let's understand it with the help of uh, analogy of uh, airline functionality in which if, if you wonder a uh, lot of thing, things happen at the airport but that, that uh, mess is arranged in a layered form. Uh, in this particular picture and you will understand it very easily so uh, you can see at the departure uh, point you first of all if you uh, have to uh, plan a journey first of all you need to buy a ticket then uh, once you have a ticket then what you will do you have a luggage so that luggage is loaded on the plane then you have gates loaded like you will get on the plane then your plane will take off from the runway and finally it will take you to the to your destination and at the arrival point again same things happen in a reverse order which you can see over here your plane will land on the runway then you will unload the gate that means you will get down from the plane then you will ask for the luggage or baggage you will claim for your baggage and then once you get your baggage then at the exit point your ticket will be again checked which place are you coming from and finally you will reach to your destination so the complete mess of airline functionality is understood with the help of this layered architecture very easily in the same way for data communication we have a common platform with the name OSI model which you can see over here OSI model it is also called uh, OSI reference model because this is a theoretical approach for data communication which has got seven layers and these layers are application presentation session transport network link uh, link layer or uh, we also call it data link layer and finally we have physical layer so at this um, common platform we have arranged all the things of data communication in a layered way that the first layer consists of all the applications which we have which we use these days and uh, then we have uh, presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer link layer and physical layer so uh, what we are going to do we are going to understand this particular OSA model in our coming lectures in uh, full detail and there is a practical approach as well and that approach is called TCP IP protocol suit which is inspired by this particular model and that that particular uh, practical approach for data communication is uh, this internet protocol stack so it is also called TCP IP protocol stack or protocol suit which has got only five layers application transport network link layer and physical layer and OSI models top three layer application presentation and session layer these three layers are combined in this uh, internet protocol stack and this is a practical approach for data communication we will uh, understand this uh, complete model throughout our semester uh, this is just a introduction introductory unit of computer network that's why i'm just giving you a glimpse of data communication how communication happens 
uh, in machines or uh, between two end nodes or between two devices so uh, what we are going to do we are going to understand these layers uh, in our uh, uh, upcoming units which we have in our syllabus so let's uh, concentrate on the main thing how uh, uh, data communication is done so you can see over here that this is the source and this is destination and source has to send some data to the destination so at the source you will find all the five layers of TCP IP protocol suit and at the destination again you will find all the five layers of TCP IP protocol suit so this this uh, common platform is uh, used in both the systems and that is why they are able to communicate with each other so there is a way to use this particular uh, TCP IP protocol suit that uh, at this particular system you will use an application that application will generate some data uh, to send to the destination that that particular data is called a message in this particular slide that message comes down to the transport layer and transport layer does its responsibility uh, it's it's our future task but uh, I'll give you a brief idea about transport layer the transport layer is responsible for process to process delivery and that thing is done with the help of port addresses and what is process to process delivery process to process delivery is nothing but uh, uh, delivery between two processes you can see uh, right now this computer can run n number of processes uh, like uh, you can uh, browse the web pages you can use Skype you can use any other application but if um, like uh, two processes uh, will communicate with each other so uh, that task is uh, performed by transport layer and uh, that task is performed uh, by transport layer by adding a header in which transport layer adds its information like source and destination port addresses and there are many things which are residing inside this transport layer header this adding up of uh, header with this message this this particular process is called encapsulation when you add a header with the message this process is called encapsulation and this after encapsulation this message becomes a segment at transport layer once transport layer is done with its task that particular uh, segment comes down to the network layer and network layer is responsible for end-to-end -end delivery that means from this system to this system and this end-to-end -end delivery is done with the help of IP address that is also we will discuss in our later lectures in detail and uh, those IP addresses are uh, added in the form of header as you can see once you uh, add this particular header uh, with the segment this particular segment becomes datagram or you can also say a packet at network layer uh, after adding um, or after the process of encapsulation um, uh, of uh, network layers header this particular segment which was coming from transport layer it becomes a datagram or a packet and then this datagram comes down to the data link layer and data link layer is responsible for node to node delivery that means from the present node to the very next node it is only responsible for, responsible for delivering your packet from current node to the next node so for that particular task um, data link layer needs MAC address or physical address you can say or uh, NIC network interface card address all are same thing so uh, data link layer will add source and destinations uh, MAC addresses uh, in its header and data link layer will add its head, header again with the datagram and that datagram will become frame now so uh, this frame will uh, come down to the physical layer and uh, the responsibility of physical layer is it transfers your data in the form of electrical or optical signals to your destination so once uh, you are uh, done at the sending side you, you can see both sending side and destination side both are agreed on a common platform which name is uh, TCP IP protocol suit you can see at the sending side 
you are using this complete tcp ip protocol suit a common platform for communication in the same way at the destination once your data is at the physical layer your physical layer will transfer your data up to the data link layer as you can see this is the frame complete frame which has got three headers data link layer header network layer header and transport layer header this particular frame uh, will go up to network layer but network layer understands only datagram or a packet so data link layer needs to remove its header from this particular frame then this frame becomes packet or datagram and then it passes this particular datagram to the network layer because it's it should be understandable it should be understand by the network layer so network layer does it uh, its task and once network layer is done with the task it will again remove its header uh, from the datagram and once you remove a uh, header from the datagram it will become a segment as you can see over here and uh, this segment uh, goes up to the transport layer at the destination machine transport layer uh, does its task and it will again remove its uh, header and finally message is delivered to a particular process or a particular application for which it is meant for so uh, that is how uh, communication is done uh, among um, networking devices or uh, uh, two end systems i hope uh, i'm clear with the things and uh, if you have any doubts uh, we will discuss these doubts in our uh, uh, discussion lecture and uh, that is how communication is is done and uh, in the next lecture we will uh, continue our introduction introductory unit of computer networks thank you very much